Hi guys, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the channel. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and start working with creating a lot using Sweet a lot. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Then make sure to drop a like because it's just subscribing as it really means the world to me. So let's go ahead and get started. I will open up my code editor. Remember in the last video, we actually went ahead and worked with making our templates look good and actually inheriting from templates and, you know, actually tidying up the code to get ready to start off the project. That is what I'm, we did in the last one. In this one, I want to open up the base HTML and um, scroll all the way to the to the bottom before the block contents, this one over here. Okay, so we will actually be using Suite a lot. If you follow the along with my other Django projects, then you will know that I actually really like using Bootstrap a lot. But I think we should go ahead and work with something new and use Suite a lot because it's modern, it looks nice, it's quite interactive, you know, it pops up and does a lot of cool things. That is why I actually want to use it. So the very first thing that we need to do is go ahead and grab the the Suite a lot CDN. I already have the Suite a lot CDN um imported i just want i just need to go ahead and open up projects to grab okay this is it over here you can see this sweet a lot okay i don't need to actually open up any project it's already imported now you should have this i will leave it in the description below or you could just open up your browser and search for sweet a lot cdn this is it over here or you go pause the video and type it out it's quite short then you want to come over to the to the block content section, remember there? So we just need to go ahead and look at a, a, a very nice place where we can do this and we will not have any issue. But one thing you should keep in mind is that Sweet Alert is actually a pop-up. So you don't need to really, really get a, a strategic location where you, you have to put it to not distort your other application styles and things like that. So you can actually put it anywhere. Okay, and it's going to just pop up whenever the need be for for that. So this is back to the top code. Just down here, I will create a new script and I will start doing this. So you open up a script tag and we will be writing Django for loop in here. I know that is quite weird, but that is the way to do it. So in the script tag, I want you to follow along for messages in messages but change this one to message so for message in messages now remember where we do things like message messages dot success messages dot error now django actually registers that in something like a a, a a context template okay so that is why we will be able to access things like messages over here just like that and it should work well so for messages in message or actually for message in messages, then we will go ahead and end off by writing off the end for over here. The very first thing you want to do is go ahead and call the swall.fire. And over here, we will start off by adding the icon. So what icon should it be? Should it be a success icon or a warning icon or an, or an error? It should actually be message.tags. So warning, error, success, they are all stored in this tag over here. So type that out, add a comma. And what is the next thing that we need? Title. So what would be the title of the alert? That should be the actual message itself. And finally, what should be the text? It actually needs text. So we could pass in a text over here. And what should be that? I don't know, you could say maybe messages dot, dot tags again, okay? And after that, you could add a timer. So after how many seconds do you want the, the swall to automatically close up? Let's say after one second, one second of five microseconds, it should be closed, 1.5 seconds, okay? And after you've done that, let's go ahead and test this out and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we will have to, you know, debug and fix some more bugs. See? It says your account has been created successfully. That's nice. So if we log out, what do you see? It says you have been logged out and it shows that really nice looking a lot. Let me get rid of this text. Refresh the page. Let's go ahead and log in. See, it says you have been logged in. That is nice. After 1.5 seconds, it closes off. Let's leave this at 4.5 so you can actually see. You go ahead and tweak this, change it up 
any way you want. And just like that, we are done with the louts. Let me log out. See, you have been logged out. And after 4.5 4 seconds, it will go ahead and close up automatically. You can also still click on this to log in. You are logged in. So now we can see a lot when we are logged in, when we are logged out, when we create an account and things like that. Let's try creating an account. Log out, come over to, to register, then fill this form up and register. See? Hey, Sonia Kristen, your account has been created successfully. This is a really nice looking modern alert than to the traditional one that actually just shows up at the top over there. So um, I think that will be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learn something new. In the next one, we should go ahead and start working with creating models for the H HMS. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video once more. Drop a like, it's really mean the world to me. And I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, my love, peace out.